Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the UMG draw box node. So this is our draw box node. If we run our example, you can see I have a little yellow box right here. So let's look at the node itself. Now the draw box mode has a few inputs. If we unhook them and we compile it, you're going to find the context is going to be required. We get our context from our on paint override function, which I'll show you in a second. But all of our other options are optional. Now, the draw box node probably should be renamed to the draw brush node because that's technically what it does. It takes in a position where on our widget do we want this to be shown. It takes in a size. What size do we want this to be done? And it takes in a brush and a tint, so we can tint our brush. Now a brush, if we were to open this up and open it up here, is a slate brush. We can right click, we can go to user interface, slate brush, and we will create this item here, which is a slate brush. Now this is covered in a separate video if you need more information, but basically it's an image and the parameters for the image. Now the reason ours looks like a box is one of the options for a slate brush is to draw it as a border. So in that case, I'm drawing it as a border with a margin. And if we look at our preview, we can kind of see it's a border. And of course, when we run this, we can see our border here. If you want to adjust it, you can of course adjust it to draw as a solid box. In this case, if I run this now, we're going to end up with a solid yellow box or we can go back to our example, stop this, change it to something else like my UI example, and now we get an actual image tinted yellow because my brush is an actual image being drawn. So keep that in mind. The draw box node is kind of more a draw brush node. It'll take in any slate brush you want. Now the two things to note is we have to override our on paint function. So in your widget, you override and find on paint. It gives your on paint function here. And that's where we get our paint context for our draw box. The second one, it's drawing it. If I click our button, it's not. And I click our button, it is. Every time this widget refreshes, the on paint node is called. And that's when it will call the draw box. It's only going to exist every time you call the on paint. So I'm toggling it on or off saying draw this box or don't draw this box. And when I tell it not to draw the box, well, it's wiping the paint. It's wiping the slate clean, basically, our widget, and then painting everything on top of it. If we move this box here, this is an image, and we run this, you'll notice that our draw box goes on top of it. No matter what depth I might have, I could have a low depth or a high depth. It's not really going to matter. The widget itself, our draw box node, is going to draw on top of any other widgets we have inside of there. It's basically got a master depth on top of everything. And it is drawn in the order. If we had multiple draw boxes, it'll draw one box. And then we do draw box, it'll be on top of the other one and continue over and over. And that's it. That's the draw box node for your UMG widgets. It requires a context from your on paint event, a position and a size for what you want to draw, a slate brush, and a tint for that brush itself. 